Two resolutions focusing on China and Chinese curriculum in Utah schools and universities are at standstill in the Utah Senate. Lauren Steinbrecher is live at the University of Utah with how a Fox 13 News records request shows what some lawmakers believe to be the communist Chinese government trying to get involved. Mm -hmm. Lauren. Yeah, Kelly and Bob, so at the front of this, these resolutions seem simple enough, but and in fact, even the University of Utah is on board with the one that involves them. But when you dig deeper down, it actually becomes a very complex issue that ties in schools, the economy, and government relations. Both resolutions pass the House with flying colors, but for some reason, they're stalled in the Senate. It's absolutely disgusting what's going on, and um, it's disturbing. And I think part of being a friend, right, is calling someone out on their crap when it needs to happen. The friend, in this case, the People's Republic of China, run by the Chinese Communist Party. The two resolutions, HJR 8, protecting Utah's institutions of higher education from Chinese Communist Party influence. It would shut down the Confucius Institutes at the University of Utah and Southern Utah University. And HCR 4, condemning the treatment of the Uyghur ethnic community by the Chinese government. There's between one and three million people that are currently being held in what they call re-education camps. And that has resulted in numerous human rights violations. And they are trying to, uh, the, the People's Republic of China, the PRC, is attempting to uh, stop the world from really talking about it. That includes here in Utah, Representative Brady Brammer says, where schools with programs funded by the Chinese government, he says, are not allowed to teach about current events and the impact of those events. From a state policy perspective, it may not seem like a very big deal to weigh in on an international issue like this. But when you start to see that, that there is soft power being exerted within our country to stop free speech related to talking about this issue, then it gets to a point where you're saying, well, maybe we should be talking about it. A grammar request filed by Fox 13 shows a text a Utah Chinese immersion teacher sent Representative Brammer saying that the Chinese Communist Party funds their immersion program. I'm not able to teach the issues you have proposed in the resolution because they're not in our Chinese curriculum, the teacher said. I keep to the curriculum since my job is on the line. All of the Chinese teachers are supposed to adhere to the same protocol. That grammar request also shows communications that Brammer believes could be coming from the Chinese government to squash the resolutions. Take this email, for example, from a Weber State University professor from China who told Brammer that the resolution violates international law and would lead to unrest. The legislation would unnecessarily damage Utah's relationship with China. The professor, who described himself as a senior leader in Utah's Chinese community, wrote, it would be in the best interest of Utah and yourself to abandon the above mentioned legislation. And so that was interesting to get, uh, you know, citizens in Utah or people in Utah that were reaching out on behalf of the Chinese government to try to stop this from happening. And what kind of relationship do we have if we're not allowed to condemn a human, massive human rights violation, um, specifically speaking about their treatment of the Uyghur population? Senate leadership seems to be concerned about that governmental relationship as the resolutions sit stuck without any movement. Senate President Jay Stewart Adams said they want to make sure there aren't unintended consequences. We are still two of the biggest economic powers in the, on the planet, the United States and China, and we have to find a way to coexist. And uh, how that coexistence happens, I think, is something that we need to, Utah needs to play a role in, but I think it needs to be uh, measured as far as what we do. He says they're now reaching out to the World Trade Center to get feedback. Now, each representative tells me they are hopeful that their resolutions can still make it into a Senate committee and uh, start moving through the Senate and have that discussion. But if they don't, Representative Perucci tells me that this issue is not going away. She does plan to bring it back again next year, this time in bill form. Live at the University of Utah, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.